it seems like the saga surrounding Jaslyn Adams just does not end. So we know about what happened with her. We I did an update story about the person who actually did the killing. And now we have this story that came out as well. And shout out to AB Media for sending this story to me. So this right here is Jonte Adams. This is Jaslyn Adams' father. And as you can see, he's standing right there at the podium giving a, you know, a, a giving his statements about what happened with his uh, daughter. And this was taken when they were still trying to find the killer of the uh, of his daughter. But of course, by now, we, we know that this person's already been captured. And um, we know who he is. But now I have to put the heat or the spotlight onto her dad. Because remember how I said that with the shooting, it felt like it was a target. Like it felt like he may have been mixed up with some people and they were coming after him or whatever the case may be. Well, it turns out my hunch was pretty much correct. Because according to this article coming from HipHopDX.com that was released on April 20th, 2021, apparently Jonte went to a graveyard or cemetery and pissed on the grave of a person from a rival gang it got back that he was the one who did it and then they were in search of him and then that's what led to this shooting right here the problem i have is that he knows that he had to have known that his actions was going to have consequences and then they were going to come after him and he had his child with him in the car now like i said they had no way of knowing that his child was going to be in the car they just knew of it, knew of it being his vehicle and that he was in it. They didn't know anyone else was there. But th the thing is, when you're trying to take somebody out, you can't think or second guess about who's in the car. You just have they just fire off. And if there's a casualty, it's just a casualty. And unfortunately, Jaslyn was a casualty, a seven year old little innocent girl who did not deserve that. So the catalyst for this entire thing is the man you see in the picture, her dad. That's what set all of this off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read this article. A Chicago rapper named Jonte Adams, who's part of the duo Tilla and Bully Bino, is reportedly feeling the repercussions of his alleged gang lifestyle. According to the Associated Press, the 29-year-old Adams was the intended target of a shooting at a local McDonald's drive through but instead, the suspects wound up fatally shooting his 7-year-old daughter, Jaslyn. Witnesses at the scene say a vehicle pulled up to Adams' great infinity. Two men hopped out and started obliterating the car with bullets. Six bullets struck the little girl while another hit Adams in the stomach. Both were rushed to jo John Stroger Hospital, but Jaslyn did not survive. In a video posted on the End of Sentence YouTube channel, the host claims Adams, also known as Richway Tiller, was affiliated with the Vice Lords from 600 block of Ridgeway Avenue on Chicago's south side. Court records stated Adams was arrested in 2012 and twice in 2013 on suspicion of manufacturing and dealing heroin. The day before Jaslyn was killed, he tweeted, Ops probably downstairs waiting on me, indicating he likely knew he was being hunted. Well, if you knew you was being hunted, why would you take your child with you out in public like that? Why? Like, you literally put your own daughter's life in danger and now she's dead. Like, at this point, he has to have known that this is ma mainly his fault because of the lifestyle he chose to live and because of the actions leading up to that. In another YouTube video, Adams and Bino are allegedly seen pissing and literally defecating, which is basically smearing shit. Like, that's ab first off, that's just absolutely disgusting. Like, I don't care how you feel about somebody and everything like that. Like, that's going that's over. That's overdoing it. That's really overdoing it. Defecating on his op's grave, possibly fueling the flames that led to Jaslyn's death. Following Jaslyn's death, Adams defended his parenting on a Facebook post writing, I never did anything but show her how a man's supposed to get a woman. Anything she asks, she basically get. I don't give a fuck what y'all think because y'all are ignorant. No, what you did was ignorant. Like, you have to have known that. And see, now that this story is about is going to probably slowly emerge to the surface, now people are really going to question your parenting skills. 
Like you did this. Like you, like I said, he's the catalyst for why she's dead. This could have been easily avoidable. He says, I taught her how to use the bathroom, brush teeth, all of that. Nothing but smiles when we together. I know my mistakes I made out here, but I already blame myself. So y'all trying trying to do it, not gonna work. Well, at least you at least you know that you fucked up. But at the end of the day, it could have been avoided. Family member said Jasmine was a student at Cameron Elementary School and her nickname was Pinky because she was bright and pink was her favorite color. She was a lovable, fun person and Jasmine's grandmother told WGN TV, very talkative, joyful, always dancing, always singing. No, um, and I'm not going to read that last part because, like I said, this story came out before the, the suspect was caught. But either way, and I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to, like, get ahead of all the critiques and all the people that's going to go in on him. But that's already too late. And it doesn't even matter because a little girl is still dead at the end of the day because of your actions. Like, you live this lifestyle and you literally have now siphoned his child into this. And now she's a casualty of it. She's not coming back. Now you have to live with the decisions that you made for the rest of your life. She will eternally be seven years old. You can go on and continue to live your life, you know, however. But here's the thing. He's 29 years old and he's already caught up in some shit. And if he's not careful, the next bullet that may come flying his way might actually take him out. Like you have a, you had a whole daughter and you say you was a good father. You would do Now, How good of a father could you have been to put her life at jeopardy like that? Like if you was going to go and like give her some food or something like that, maybe you should have went out by yourself and, or better yet, if you felt like you was in danger, maybe I don't know, get DoorDash and have them bring the food to you. And have somebody else go or, or have someone go get the food for you. If you knew your life was in danger, why would you risk going out and putting your life in danger as well as your daughter's? Like, that makes no sense. Like, this shit actually pisses me off. And here I am thinking, like, damn, I feel bad for the dad to have to see his daughter get murdered in front of him like that. And then he almost dies himself. But now I don't feel so bad for him anymore. I feel bad that this little girl lost her life because of her dad's own ignorance. Like I'm blame I I put more blame on the dad than the actual people who shot into the car because like I said he literally catapulted this whole thing off. So no, I don't feel anything for him. Like he literally is the reason why his daughter is dead. Yes, I said it and I'm and I stand on that. You knew what type of life you live. And you had to escalate it by doing some of the most nastiest shit. Literally, you went and pissed on the grave of your op and then sh and smeared shit on it. Like, who does that? And somehow somebody found out. I don't know if he put it out there or what. I'm like, if you was going to do that, then no one was around. You shouldn't have said nothing. But something. But, you know, like I said, within this generation. Everybody has to put something out there for some kind of consumption so they can gain and garner attention. But this shit makes me mad, like literally make it pisses me off. Because this little girl did not deserve this. And it's crazy. You have a lot of people like him out here who have children and this like, how are you raising these kids around all of this activity? And see, he probably kept it away from her, but now he brought it to her in, in the, and maybe in the one time that he actually ever did, now she's gone. So I don't feel anything, any kind of sympathy that I did have for him up until this point is terminated. Done. The only one I feel bad for is this child because she did not deserve to die like that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.